In this video, we're going to show you how to use Excel to calculate probability associated with exponential distribution. Let's get started. Suppose X is a random variable that has a exponential distribution with mean mu equal to 10. The density function of this exponential distribution is shown here. What we want to do is to find the following probability. The first one is probability x less than four. So graphically, this is what we want to do. We want to find the area under the exponential distribution density from zero to four, as we can see in this box. So the probability correspond to the area under this curve. How do we do that? Well, to do that is actually very straightforward using Excel's expon.dist function. So the way to do it is equal sign the expon.dist for comma. Now this is the trick. If the mean is equal to 10, what we need to enter is one over 10. We always enter one over the mean to make it work. And then comma, because of the fact that we're looking for an area under the curve, we enter two, just like the normal distribution. And that's how we get started. Let me just erase this. And the answer is 0 0.3297. So the trick, as I said, is to make sure that when we enter the mean into the function, we enter the, the parameter as one over the mean, not the mean itself. The next one is the probability of x is bigger than three. So x bigger than three means that here's three, and we want to look at the area from three all the way to infinity, right? So that's the area under the curve from three all the way to infinity. How do we do that? Well, to do that is actually quite straightforward. What we have to do is to calculate the area under the curve from zero to three, and then one minus that. So in order to do that in Excel, we say one minus expon dot dist three comma, Again, the mean is equal to 10, so we enter one over 10, comma, two. And the answer is 0 0.7408. Lastly, we can also find the probability between two points. For example, we want to find the probability between two and five. So two and five is about here. So we want to find the area under the curve between two and five. How do we do that? Well, again, if you look at the graph, the easiest way to do that is to find the area under the curve from zero to five minus the area under the curve from zero to two. So what we do is we calculate the difference between two exponential functions. So we say equal sign expon dot dist five, one over 10, T-R-U-E, minus E-X-P-O-N dot D-I-S-T, two, one over 10, and two. And the answer is 0.122. So once we have the experience using the ex the normal distribution function, the use of the exponential function is really similar. The only difference is that when we enter the mean into the function, make sure that we use one over, one over the mu, the mean instead, rather than the mean itself. So this is rather straightforward. I hope that you enjoyed this video. We will see you soon. Bye for now.